Good morning to you all my subscribers at Princey Seats channel. If you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and press the notification button for onward information. Rev. Nguahachukwu spoke on disbursement after election. Please stay calm and listen to what he has for us. Thank you. Good morning, my distinguished uh, gentlemen and ladies in the grand community. I thank God Almighty for giving us life to today. May his name alone be highly exalted. My name remains Reverend Nguaya Chuku. Coming your way today, the sixth day of the sixth day of March 2023. It has become necessary and important for me to come out to put some records clear. I have up to three or if I'm not mistaken, agenda to be treated. One, I've said it yesterday in my write-up. A lot of things are going out there on the social media using my name. Please, everybody should disregard that. What I wrote was when I said, please house, everybody should relax. The job is completed, waiting to be delivered by through our NGOs. What I mean there is that uh, God has perfected the job for us. It remains the time to disburse the money to the NGO, which in turn from the NGO will get to us. That is only what I wrote. But other people began to write a lot of things after they will use that one on the down part of their uh, write-up and they will say it is me please you should disregard that anyone that is being that is attached anything that is attached on that word disregard it not from me two i had one person that made had a meeting in telegram I was talking about uh, the uh, problem, division in um, uh, Kabar, this and that. They are having issues with Apostle Ken Mwakama, this and that. Please, nobody is having issue again with Apostle Ken Mwakama. The Kabars are not talking anything about that. We are expecting our blessings after the election so please nobody should talk about UAAG and uh, call Kabas any longer if such thing rises up we will let you people know please let everybody be calm and stay his own don't involve anybody in this matter again what surprises me most is People will be saying what they don't know. They, were, they weren't there. But they will be saying it as if they were there. Let me ask those people. Are they in the meeting when those things happen? Or did they hide? They heard from who? Are those people the management of um, UAAG? So it's a pity. So please, I, I, I appeal to everybody to be careful on the social media. So that you, uh, well, I saw that those things as from the camp of the enemy that are saying something that will uh, instigate crisis among the UAG. So please, everybody should be careful. Three, I had uh, some, many people called me and uh, told me that somebody did uh, facebook or youtube i don't know and was saying that uh, uaag is registering new uag is registering new new this thing uh, uh, registering ngos 
so please I want to make things clear there when I had that I know we didn't discuss such thing in a meeting such thing didn't happen I know if such thing want to happen it has to be discussed in the meeting so we didn't discuss such thing I now put a call across to to, to our boss I put a call across to our boss Ambassador Dr. Apostle Ken Wakama. He said that he's not aware of such thing, no. He's not aware. And he mandated me to let the public know that such thing is not true. I want to put it straight to everybody in the grand community. UAAG has their data. Since Tio said it openly, even in Brekete, that Tioba Global Foundation has his mandate, his grant to this boss that we will never disburse with his own data you see now we come to realize that of a truth UAG is quite different the Uber global foundation is quite different so UAG has their data UAG has their data yes that is the truth about it and UAG is not collecting money for registration of NGOs. No. No. Anything you support, that is only for you. Not that UAG is collecting money. We don't collect any money. But anything you support, that is for you. So anybody that has collected your money say you want to register you in UAG, that person is defrauding you. UAG have their data. If UAG pays their data and uh, we needed another NGOs. I mean data of NGOs, NGOs. We needed another NGOs. UAG will say it to the public. So NGOs will now come in. But for now, UAG has their, their NGOs. You see? So everything is in place. So please disregard anything that is telling you that UAG is registering um, uh, NGOs. We don't register as long as registration is there. It involves money. We don't register anything, please. We can only accommodate when necessary. NGOs, since the money is large, we accommodate. We don't register. As long as your NGO is real, as long as your NGO is real, you will be scrutinized. After satisfactory, UAG will pay you. So please, everybody in the grand community should disregard any registration from anybody telling you that UAG is registering NGOs. No, UAG has their NGOs that they work with. If need be, you coming in or another NGO coming in, no problem. No problem. Then the management will bring the devices, device of bringing them in. Please. And again, I want to use this medium to tell everybody. Nobody should come out and say UAG. He or she is a spokesperson of UAG. As long as now is concerned, UAG has no spokesperson. But something need may arise like this one that I am doing. And the boss will call you. Okay, talk about this since you had it since somebody complained it to you and you come out to say it does not mean that you are a spokesperson to UAG so that you will not put us in trouble because if in any organization you have a spokesperson anything that that person said it will be seen as if the organization said it and it will, the organization will be held responsible so on this, there is nothing like spokesperson of UAAG as long as now is consigned until when everything will be put in place, the organization will now have spokesperson. For now, if you are sent or asked to say anything, do not say you are a spokesperson, but just that the boss asks you to say so and so thing and you must make sure his name so that he will be aware that he is the one that asked you to say such thing for now please everybody should stop 
saying that he or she is speaking on behalf of UAG. Let that word stop for now so that we will not be in trouble until further notice. I'm not a spokesperson of UAG. I'm above that. I can't even accept it. But because it is the organization that I belong to, if I am asked to say so so and so thing, I will say it. That does not mean that I am the spokesperson of that organization or of UAG. No, but I can say something. When I've been mandated to say it by the boss, like this one now. So please, the most important thing is on this registration of NGOs. We don't register. Now people will be defrauded because of that. We don't register NGOs in UAAG. But we can accommodate NGOs. But that should be when it is being discussed and agreed. Please, I am pleading with anybody. Don't allow anybody to defraud you as long as now is concerned. We are in a dangerous time. I have seen a lot of write-ups. Somebody mentioning the people he called. And they told him, yes, UAG is registering. No, it's fake. UAG is not registering anything. Even I have even sent it to one person among the people that was called. That person said, no, he's not aware about it. Yes, that is, I should disregard. I mean, Osin. Osin told me, send it to me, that I should disregard. This is uh, social media stuff. So please, I appeal to the grand community do not be using the name of people to facilitate your dubious character your scamming character to get money from people and everybody that has ngo please be careful mind those people that will come and tell you i am pa to apostle ken i am pa to reverend Guarachuku. i am pa uh, secretary to apostle ken secretary to you please such stuff should stop nothing like that for now nothing like that for now you can communicate to me directly if you have such thing tell me directly and i will guide you properly i know i will guide you properly so that the name of uag that uh, uh, our enemies are trying to see something they will use to nail us with the exonerated anything you want to do do it on your own don't include uag don't include any of us do it on your own so if anybody want to fall pray let that, that person fall pray this message is very very important that everybody need to know it everybody need to hear it you sound as a warning don't do anything in the name of uaag again uaag is a standard organization yes everything will be put in, in place and everybody will know the direction where we are going nobody should also think that uaag is doing like two floss the global foundation no when time comes the management of uaag will decide and say the way they will do their own in uaag nobody should take uh, that of uh, Tios Tuba global foundation pattern into uaag pattern because they are now two different things please as you listen to this may god almighty help every one of us to stand firm not to be scammed thank you and god bless you i remain reverend Mugarachuku. thank you thank you for watching to the end you are so important to us you are open to share your thoughts on the foregoing but be civil and constructive in your submissions Thanks and God bless you as you subscribe to our channel for further information.